What up, world? It's your boy, BA For Real 100, and welcome to Get Your Bars Up Media. Salute, salute, salute. Uh, so, <laughs> we're back up in this thing, and today we will be having a special guest. Goes by the name of LL Kooji. And uh, for those of you who do not know who LL Kooji is, <clears throat> you'll definitely know, you'll definitely know pretty soon. Representing that Milwaukee, what they call that new Midwest. So, yeah, we're about to see what he's talking about. What up, world? It's your boy, B.A. For Real 100. Welcome to Get Your Bars Up Media. Salute, salute, salute. Uh, so, ha <laughs> We back up in this thing, and today we have a special guest. Yes, a special guest from the new Midwest. What we call that, Milwaukee. Yes. L.L. Kooji, what up, homie? Man, what's good, man? It's your boy, L.L. Kooji, man. R.P. Money Bird and shit, gang. Midwest movement, man. Dot mob and shit with you. Definitely, definitely, man. Well, I I appreciate you for uh, for coming on this evening, bro. Uh, is, this has been a long time coming, man. I know I've been I've been slacking on my interviewing. <laughs> yeah, man. We are gonna get right, on, right. Uh, definitely, definitely. So, what I want to ask you first, man, is so being from the new Midwest, right? How was how was the battle rap culture actually growing up in your region? Uh, my region, man, like, it's like pretty much, you know what I'm saying, back going to where, you know, it needs to be, man, like from the old Midwest movie, you know, uh, there's a lot of new talent coming from, you know, St. Louis, you know, Milwaukee, Michigan, Chicago, you know what I'm saying, even uh, Missouri, like that, and uh, things of that nature and shit. And, in more cities, Minnesota, like uh, Indiana, like I said, and shit like that, man. And just, you know, a lot of new talent and new elite talent is, you know what I'm saying, being showcased. And we definitely come in and making a lot of noise out here I mean, as far as our own states and things like that. And, you know, we just uh, came together, you know, like the old new Midwest movement came and shit. And we just, you know what I'm saying, come together like to say, like the uh, West Coast do, like the DMV is, and like the New York people are, like the upper – Upstate people and shit like that, man, and just making our own, uh, make our own out the uh, and push the new Midwest movement and things of that nature. Ah, uh, so what, what, uh, what got you into battle rap? If you don't mind me asking, bro. I used to watch things like I used to watch, you know, uh, Smack DVDs and shit growing up and shit. I like, see, I see the first move, uh, battle I actually seen was Mook versus Jay Mills and I was uh at the Boys and Girls Club and I and at Boys and Girls Club and I walked down to the teen center uh, with my older brother was watching and his friends was watching the battles and shit like that. So I got introduced to that day and then I watched it myself and then I have I actually have a copy of the Lions the first Lions Den DVD stuff to that shit. So I was watching Lions Den and I went from there to watching, you know what I'm saying, A Verb and Hitman and early young out of St. Louis for the street status and world wars and shit like that. So that's what really got me into it and shit. Cause I always uh, started making music first, but I always like, you know what I'm saying? Because that know me from my hood. Know I used to always come to the park and I always have bars. So they used to have niggas battle and shit. You know what I'm saying? I never had anybody so then specifically for nobody. It was just random, like universal shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but I, like for the people who don't know how you got your name, because you told me this story before, but how did you get your name, sir? Uh, cool. Yeah, I just wear cool in high school and in my myself. This is part of name. I to keep on talk all the cool went by. I'm saying that, and as far as the LL, first my rap name is going to be because it's actually living life competition over opportunities. But my name be that dots in between. So people that think I'm uh, wrong with the uh, name is definitely wrong about that. I can see how it looks. Only people that really say something about that is older dudes trying to be social dudes. Besides everybody other reason, you don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's like, you know, you know what I'm saying? Then like, it, even, even if that was the case, it ain't like I'm adding trash or like I'm around here with colored hair or be doing gay shit. And named after uh naming myself after a uh, goat like <laughs> it's like you know what I'm saying I'm I'm I listen to my music or listen to my battle rap dope and I I think if you heard it here like it actually you know what I mean? it's actually dope and I talk if you heard my music my battles and shit you know what I'm saying so but people that want to run with this name people like I'm just sitting there and explaining it right now 
there's still somebody going to be from New York or from the coast still going to feel the way about it. And it's always old dudes. It's not fucking younger dudes and shit, you know what I'm saying? So, so people going to feel the way they want to feel with God. Any day, day, man, I'm a dog. I'm a dope empty. Uh, talk your shit, young fella. Talk your shit, huh? Um, what, um, so like, who are for the people that do uh, uh, the people that are actually watching this, man? Um, what are your notable battles that you would like people to go and actually watch to actually get to, to see you more? 40 bars, run nitty. Crazy battle, by the way, Rum Nitty was crazy. Forty was crazy too. Ah, hey, Chris Mafia, uh, Excel, Kings, Dennis, Q. Yeah, I say Stings, uh, Young Man, yeah, and do it, do no shit like that. Ah, so at what part of your career? Did you say that, man, I'm really going to do this shit? Like, I'm really going to try to be whatever you're trying to be in this game? If you come, come from the street, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people these days, uh, I see still people that still over there doing the same shit, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? On the block, still doing the same shit. You know, people that's, that's my age or even, even my age, you know, like, when you like you gifted with talent, bro, and like you just gotta really take it to the next level. You know what I'm saying? I, I had people around me with money, I had people that sold drugs and things like that. And they never asked to invest in me or anything like that. So I took my own money and my own money I made as far as from the street or far as from the job. I took my own money and invested in myself, invested in my flights for my PGs, invested in my money for my music videos. Invested in my money for my studio time and things of that nature and shit, you know. And any other thing I felt like that to get my name out here any, any, and more than it is, you know what I'm saying? And I just took my money, all the money, and invested in myself. If I tell people all the time, like, long as you wait for somebody else's money, that's exactly what you're going to be doing. Wait, you know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, man, you just got to push yourself and, you know, and keep it moving, bro. So that's all I did, man. It's, uh, I looked up at others and, you know, some people look at other success and jealous. I looked at other people's success and got motivated, you know. So it's like, that's what I did. Just took my own, just invested in myself. And then I could have get myself on and, and my pay for myself to get out as far as be a fool or a bus. Hey, bro, I took my talents to the next level. You know, I paid for my own PG flights and my own hotel rooms. And anybody that did the PG process know how that goes. Yeah. And, uh, I didn't get paid on my first time on our when I get the KT. Me invested in myself and taking the battle the week prior to the event uh, and walked away with the best battle that night. You feel me? For that serious card. So I, I'm a nigga that take my opportunities, man, and just pretty much, you know, like relies on all of me. Man, the thing is, it's crazy that you say that because the first time you were, uh, that you actually landed on my radar, um, I was watching the uh, the RBE joint. And it was a one-shot kill, and you killed something. You, ah, it was it was attempted murder. <laughs> yeah, K, it, it, it was a uh, KT battle. Yeah, KT battle. I was like, who the fuck is this nigga? LL Coogee. I was like, what the fuck is the L? What this nigga got bars yeah. though. <laughs> wow. Exactly. So you know, man. Uh, just like I said, I got capitalized on it. I'm just. Kept, kept it moving from the man and see progress, progression. Definitely, bro. Definitely. So getting back into the entrepreneurship that you were speaking on, if, um, cause they're going to be aspiring battle rappers and people who are, uh, trying to come up in the game, but don't know how to make any money. If you had, um, if you had any advice for them, what would you what would you tell the up and coming battle rapper that's actually trying to make it in the game right now that's not really making any money? Uh no, get your get your LLC, which I got my LLC for my name, LL Kooji. Uh get your BMI, get your ass cap, because that you can't put people that know you can't register your battles because they are your lyrics. You can't register your battles on BMI ass cap too. So you can't pay for that. Oh, you make music and rap, get you a show kid or a tune board. So you also can uh, 
get money from off those sites, you know what I'm saying, from uploading your music on Apple Music, Spotify, and, and Deezer, and Google Play. You also get a percentage from your streams and they out things like that for your music also. And they just show us all your content, so you can upload it. You also can do that, get paid from this show kid, from your streams and things of that nature. And like I said, you also, you know what I'm saying, you know, you also, you know what I'm saying, a website, because I have a website, LLCoozie.com. Also, then post your merchandise, get your merch, you know what I'm saying, sell physical copy of your album, sell, uh, you know, on there, you know, sell your merch, take your t-shirts, your sweatshirts, your uh, tank tops, whatever you got for sale, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know what I'm saying, when you're an artist, you know, you have to, for Jay-Z, you have to get rich happy, you know what I'm saying? You have to get, you have to do more, you have to, you know what I'm saying, have more merch, you have to, you know what I'm saying, invest in things that also bring money back to you. You know what I'm saying? Because at, at your brand all over, not just with your uh, music or with your bars. Like, you have to be a brand all over, you know what I'm saying? Some of like, you know, rappers get paid just to walk in the venue, like do walk-ins and things like that, you know? You can, like I said, make, make, invest in yourself to the point where you just, you get, you get paid just to do the littlest things, you know what I'm saying? That you probably used to take you four or five battles to get or four or five mixtapes to get or you know what I'm saying, things of that nature. You know what I'm saying? Always hold yourself to a high standard. Also, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't always settle for the smaller things, you know what I'm saying? And things like that. You always have to think big and think higher, you know what I'm saying? But there's always going to be people, family or anything that's going to doubt you or go and not believe in you or not even take one time to invest in your dream. I might not come to one show or one performance but you all you gotta do for the people that have came you know i can name my family members came to, you know i can name family members blood family members that came to my battles or shows on one hand but i can name at least five i can name at least five to six seven eight or ten out of time that took their money from their job and off their table to fly out and come see me on url that came to fly come see me on rbe that came to come fly because they came from other cities that's two hours, three hours away to come and pull up and see me. That's when, and that's when even when I had my battle with GE outside, it was guys that came from all the way an hour out to come see me outside. So it's like, well, you got to do it for the people like that, bro, at the end of the day. Sometimes nobody going to believe in you. Somebody, sometimes you can, you, can, you can rap all your shit and play music and your friends and fast face all day. And then my dad not take one ten dollar bill, one fifteen, or five or ten to come see you. You know what I'm saying? Because right. you know everybody thinks you think free anyway. You know what I'm saying? So you know they were the word support. You know what I'm saying? They think they think it's free. So at the end of the day, man, you know you just gotta like, man, just throwing everybody out and just man take your talents to the next level by believing in yourself. Because at the end of the day, you won't be the only one that's gonna believe in you. Because we at the jump, you're the only one going in your pocket for your dream and for what you wanna do. So at the end of the day, man, like it's pretty much fuck everybody to believe in yourself, and your dream. And long, let me tell you something: as long as you invest in yourself, you definitely will always be in a situation. It might not be what you want at the jump but no business or no anything no business or any franchise will tell you that they made, made something back on the first you know what I'm saying, couple of jumps you know what I'm saying at the end of the day you know you have to sacrifice you're going to have to take your L's and put your W's and, and you know and really just you know uh, you know what I'm saying really just take both days forward and then just invest in yourself and just do you that's all I can really give you best advice to people and shit, man, just don't give up on yourself. Now, you always not going to recoup every time you do something. I bet you, I bet you Smack and Beasy got a, a billion stories on how certain events didn't go how they want it or how they plan, but that don't mean they're going to stop. You know what I'm saying? Fast. Business, business is lose money every day, bro. Business is lose money every day, but they got to find out. McDonald's they probably lost money before some areas. It might not be public, but you, you can't tell because what do they do? They put more money into another uh, option on the a value meal so they can recoup that money. Some they probably made, it's probably like some uh, like Burger King with the Halloween burger that's black. They're probably then, you, you see that, you see what they made to be given for last and they bring it back, it probably didn't make the money they thought it was going to make. That's so that means they just put more money, they probably put more money in something else that was making money. So that's my point is that everybody, every business loses, loses money. Every time a first person opens up a bar, it's not going to be a million people in the first night. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you just gotta be, gotta be, uh, gotta be, man, you gotta be receptive of uh, what's going on, man. Just, just, uh, appreciate, dog, what, what you got in the situation. Man, 
Hey, that's love right there, man. Y'all, y'all hear that? Y'all got a real entrepreneur that battle rap, but he ain't he ain't dependent on battle rap. You feel me? He's not dependent on battle rap. He got other ish going. My nigga putting out music. Yo, Kooji, where can we find this music at, bro? You can find my music at Apple Music, Spotify, Deezer. Google Play, Pandora, Amazon Music, and things like that, man. You can find my music on SoundCloud, YouTube Music, my videos and videos, and my channel, LL Kooji, on YouTube. Go subscribe at the time and make sure you push the all button and shit until you get all the uh, notifications for my page. You know what I'm saying? Shit, though. Uh, yeah, yeah. I was saying that actually, that uh, the any fan, fans can tweet me and stuff, and you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, they, they can tweet me and stuff. And say, they can, they can tweet me and stuff, man, and give me their opinion. I always down to take constructive criticism and stuff. So you can uh, tweet me at, at the real LL Kooji. You can follow me on Instagram at LL Kooji, man, and Facebook at LL Kooji, and every other site, man, on uh, Spotify, you know, Apple Music, and things like that, man. At LL Kooji, definitely you can get in contact with me and hit my website, LLKooji.net. And you can definitely, man, get uh, merch, man, and everything like that. And, man, stay up to date on all my newest battles, my newest albums, mixtapes, and everything. That's what I said. Uh, hey, uh, for y'all that's listening, yeah, y'all better make sure y'all come support, man. Support my guy LL Kooji, man. He's uh he's he's been in the game for a minute, but hey, now niggas is starting to know his name. But with that being said, Mr. Kooji, I gotta put you on the hot seat real quick, sir. You ready? You still there, bro? Yeah. So my question to you is. At the new Midwest, we know coming up, Fonz just won, uh, just won uh, the tournament. Everybody's been doing their thing. You, you've been doing that thing. You just recently had a fire battle versus Romitty. But with that being said, who your top five in the, uh, of the new Midwest movement? Who my top five in the new Midwest movement? Yes, sir. Uh, Fonz, A. Ward, J. Lopez. Truthful. Uh, exclude myself, right? Yeah, excluding yourself. We know you in there. <laughs> exclude myself, right? Yes, sir. Exclude myself and uh, bank it. That's fine, right there. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, that is uh, it's it's amazing that the type of noise that y'all have been making out there, man. Uh, it's an incredible type of energy that y'all been bringing, and then when Fonz. One that one is twenty five k. I'm like this nigga Kuji got to be next. We got to see you in one of these tournaments, bro. Man, every time I try to, every time I hit P, he said that shit booked up. They already booked it already. I, I tried twice, bro. I tried. So it's the second one and the third one. It's supposed to be going too. I be trying. Ain't like I'm not here making enough noise or anything like that, bro. It just be man, shit, man, shit. They never had no room for me, bro. I hear you well. I know, I know one thing, man. This damn Rum Nitty battle was fire. I was like, man, you you told me about it. I'm just like, yeah, all right, all right. But then actually hearing you go up, ah, you did your thing, man. What what were you thinking when you stood toe to toe with arguably the best puncher of all time? Uh, that man, I can go up here and just do me. You know what I'm saying? What I'm good at, that's punching too. So it is very big. I'm one of the most of these punches. Yeah, yeah. You were scheming, bro. It was showed that I was one of the most. I did punch this era too, and I need the respect. I just need that type of light and notoriety on me, man, to get, you know what I'm saying, to get in front of the right opponents. Like, all I need is to get in front of the right opponents. Uh, like I said, shoot to the top, you know what I'm saying, be able to display my talent on the right uh, exposure. So that's all I went. I went in the battle, man. Like, I went in the battle to win, but at the end of the day, like, smack said about drugs, that dad gets bitty. All, all you got to do is go in there and not get washed or die in front of the most elite people, and you, you will go to the next plateau. You know what I'm saying? That's all I went in there and did. I didn't die or nothing like that. So, you know, so I didn't die or get washed or nothing like that. It's plenty, uh, most say it's plenty of motherfuckers that say I won. I won anyways, man. Exposure. You know what I'm saying? Another a cold ass name, a little you know, resume. So I like, man, man, just uh, do what I do, man. Do what I'm best at. 
Facts. Facts. So, with uh, this, so a, a few days ago, I was on uh, I was on live with my guy Capo Capology Facts. Shout out to shout out to my brethren out there. Right. And uh, and uh, Lady D uh, 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 Diablo was on there as well. You representing that shot town? Another mid yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> holding it down. And oh, did he just leave? You there? Yeah. yeah so. Swave hops on and we're talking to Swave and we were on we were on there with Swave for like an hour and a half just chopping it up. Then Swave right. just went left. I was like, "Yo, um, uh, yeah, what you think about Kooji? I know y'all y'all about to see each other." He was like, "I don't think nothing. I'm gonna wash him. I'm gonna send him out of here." Oh my gosh! What would what what what's your rebuttal to that, sir? Man, bro, you ain't never seen no nigga wash me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> never, you have never seen no nigga wash me, and a man, uh, man, made me to just take it up here and really say, man, he didn't take his medicine that night. You know what I'm saying? He was he he caught a little bit of all timers that night. If talking to this all it was, he was talking to me, L.M. the walk. You know what I'm saying? Straight up, my nigga, I'm not one of these strong wash. It's only one round, five minutes. You're not washing me. You're not doing none of that. Ain't none of that going down with LL, you feel me? So then, hey, man, he go in there and talk all that shit, man, all he wants to, my nigga. I'm going to go in there and show him cool and talk and go in there and do what I have to do, my nigga, at the end of the day. Because I also said, he, he said that, oh, uh, he watched one of my battles and I ain't battled nobody and all this other bullshit like that. So if you go in there with that attitude, you definitely going to die at the end of the day. Because he definitely underestimated you, you feel me? Yeah, yeah. So when he was talk when he was talking crazy about uh, about pretty much about you and he was uh, trying to reference back to the rum nitty battle, I was just trying to let him know, yo, you I, I know you buy you biased towards rum because y'all both team homie. I know you my guy sway, but hey, you, you, you heard the man you heard the man say himself on, on Math Hopper show if 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 you homie he only gonna say you lost if you got completely washed on homie or if you team homie. But if it's debatable or something, he's gonna say you won. So you know what that is already. So you know you know what that is already. So man, be realistic, man. Like I said, bro, like you're not gonna say nothing to me that's like that ain't my nigga. Like I'm not like bro, I'm a real nigga, bro. I'm a stand-up nigga, bro, real life. So. Yeah, yeah, that's a fact. That's a fact. What uh would you ever tell you're not gonna say that to me that's damaging and crazy. So it's like any day, man, you can you can go around with that talk all you want. Go here, man. Hundred percent. Go here, my nigga. And go. You, you, you feel me? Like I got uh, two months right now, right one round, bro. Like niggas, I I went on RBE, had a better battle than him that night, nigga. On oh, Mad versus when he on the car versus Bad News, right? He on the car versus Bad News and shit at the same night, right? So who walked away with the better shit? I did. <laughs> I did. So it was like my nigga, every black compass. Jay Black, all of them said I had the best shit that night. So and everybody else knew that. So ARP did too. It was like my nigga, like stop playing with me, man. That's a fact. That's a fact. You definitely had uh you definitely uh were the battle of the night that night. I, I exactly. That. You, and, and one sway on a car? Yeah. Was he on a car? <laughs> yeah, I believe he was. Okay then. He was on the car, right? So he got, he got the little man, I, I watched him versus Roddy. He's gonna have to do a little bit more than that to beat me, my nigga. Yeah. We we'll have to do a little bit more than that. Hey, we, <laughs> hey, I might have to see y'all yeah, face all off. OG, all, that, all, that, all that OG talk going to talk to him. I'm gonna talk to him. I'm gonna talk, all that OG talk. I'm gonna tell him. I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna talk to him for real. Like <laughs> my whole approach on this battle is totally different. And we gonna niggas gonna see, man. You be in the building or get the live stream. Niggas gonna see stuff with me, man. I'm gonna be in my most fucking bag. I'm telling you. Yeah, y'all got a date for this battle yet? Yep, October twenty fourth. Uh, for, uh, what, uh, what's what's the location? Man, October twenty fourth. The venue, uh, the venue is, is to be announced and shit too. So everybody get the venue when the uh, flyer come out when they redo the flyer and shit for the actual venue. But it's, it's no, it's October twenty fourth. It is going down and shit. You know, October twenty fourth and shit. But make sure y'all make y'all niggas, man. Y'all in the area in New York, man. Make sure y'all get that man. Make room and shit, man. And go out here and travel to come to the event or you in the area. 
go down there, man, and get your ticket, man, so you can come and witness this greatness, man. Make sure you have your mask and all that and shit like that. And make sure you have your walkers. Make sure you have your motherfucking uh, aspirin, the medicine, you know what I'm saying? Your, uh, you know what I'm saying? For your sinus disease and everything like that. And your, uh, you know what I'm saying? Your leg and your knees painting because all the senior citizens that's coming to see Slave and shit that night, you know what I'm saying? DNA, the nurse is on deck, and his knees gonna be hurting by the time, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Knees and legs gonna be hurting by the time I'm done with the music, man. It's real short, real tough, man. <laughs> so, uh, I know we, we talked a few weeks ago, and uh, man, uh, let everybody know when uh, uh, when they when when that uh, when you're expected to be on the URL again. Uh, next month, next month, next month. I'm expected to be on the URL next month. Will it, will it be uh will this be on caffeine? Uh I will not know until y'all know. Like <laughs> I will not know until y'all know. I that that's how I really like really with it. Like, as far as new nigga and shit. Like I'm, I'm oh, I uh, I went through all of these questions and I forgot to ask you, man, what like what who who what battle rapper is your favorite battle rapper of all time if you can if you can disclose that now and yeah, yeah. Like who, who who you always looked up to? Verb. Verb. Uh, why why verb? Verb was like the stone cold of that era. You feel me? Facts. Yeah, he like you know, he always talked to the East Coast nigga, let him know that he don't give a fuck about him, he don't fuck with him, <laughs> fuck New York, all that type of talk he used to be doing. Like that's that ain't nothing stone cold on the mic, you feel me? <laughs> that's facts. You know, can I get it? Can I get a hit? Yeah, all that shit like that, you know, like that. He was stone cold of that area, and he was actually good, like stone cold. You know what I'm saying? He was stone cold of that area, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, like, and he was actually, and he dope as a bitch as the MC, you know? So, you know, pretty much just with a verb and shit, you feel me? Yeah, verb. I, man, he's uh, definitely one of the greatest of all time, whether people like it or not, because not too many niggas did what he has done, especially to Hollow the Don, Loaded Love. All right, well, he's, he arguably beats. Both of the, the arguably both slugs and Mook and B Mook in New York, arguably. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, in Harlem. I believe that was in Harlem too. Yeah, so with that being said, he arguably be both of them. So it's like, what can you, what can you answer? Like the hottest like, nigga out. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, where was no crowd? That's facts. That's facts. He was talking to Geechee. But Geechee did his thing too. But Verb was yeah, yeah. Right, exactly. With that being said, uh, you know, that's my favorite of all time. Definitely A Verb. A Verb. Oh my gosh. Uh, and then it was one more. Um, so, what was your, like, as far as notable? What do you think, outside of the Rum Nitty battle, which battle was your favorite of all time that you were a part of? What? Uh, what was your favorite battle of all time that you were a part of? The battle of all time I, I was a part of? Yeah. Probably me and 40. Me and 40. Oh, you were talking to her greasy, bro. Ah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Kendall, girl, Kendall girl beat me, bro. Hey, for if um, could you tell yourself? And then all the shit, and then all the shit, then all the shit, check me out. All the shit I was saying was original shit. All somebody never said before. Yo, I love me some forty, but you got her to fuck up out of here. Yeah, facts. Got her clean. Got her to fuck up out of here. That's what it is. Shit, well, Gucci, man, I ain't gonna hold hold you up too much longer, man. I appreciate you for stopping by, man, and actually showing me and uh and, and the culture and and my channel love, bro. Uh, is oh, you, know, you already know it's always love, my nigga, man. Make sure y'all go to support. Get your bars up, media, man. Go subscribe to Facebook, man. Go uh, like the page, man. Group, man, and everything, man. Make sure you go follow them, friend them. You know what I'm saying? Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Get your bars up, media, man. If you see him out there, man, make sure you get on that camera. Show the camera some love, man. And, man. Facts, bro. Much love.
know and know that I should like that. So, you know, you keep it moving, keep pushing, you know what I'm saying? Keep working on all that shit. So, that being said, man, make sure you subscribe to my channel, Ella Koji, man. For me, get your bars on media, man. We out. Holla, y'all. Salute.